back at the ponds again. Month's almost over. It's about the 23rd, I think, today. There's a bass resting by those weeds. It's just a little bluegill behind him. Water's very clear right now. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if this fly that's been so darn successful this spring uh, still works again today. Otherwise, we might try some uh, San Juan worms and something similar to that. There's another bass near the bank. Hopefully, we'll still be able to catch a few fish. There's an unfortunate sight. This guy's alive. It's a carp. He's got a bunch of uh, grass and weeds stuck in his bin, and he's obviously sunburned, so I can't imagine he's long for the world. Boy, next cast, exactly the same damn thing. Let it drop to the bottom. Uh, it's kind of like trout fishing. You know, they want something dead or something that's barely moving. So that's fine with me. As long as tactics work, who cares? You know, let's get you out of those weeds. There's my fly. Come on, come on out. Come on out. There we go. There we go. It's another nice one. Or look at the size of that mouth. It's a dandy bass. Be a good three pounds or so up the other. Here's another one where I just uh, shut my camera down, it dropped to the bottom, and lo and behold, we got another one. A smaller one, but that's okay. We won't be fishing too long here, I don't think. We could go see if we could catch something bigger. Let's see what happens there. Now that's about enough of this. It's too easy. First fish, without hesitation, is a pretty little bluegill. Well, look at that yellow belly. And of course, there's spawning colors. Nice little fish, though. Yes, they are. Let's give them a hook. Good to swallow it. That's nice. I'm going to throw in the towel. Um, it's just too stupid easy. There's a bass that's <laughs> jerked it out of his mouth several times. We have schools of sunfish down here, and I know the camera's going to pick up the wind noise. It's just too darn easy. Let's go to a pool we've never fished before and see what happens. I've seen some fingerlings there, and fry rather, and maybe we'll uh, find a big fish there. May, wind noise may be too much to pick up uh, my voice right now. Uh, it's really blowing hard. This is an interesting pool. As you can tell by the color, it's been treated with a chemical to keep the algae down, and we've never seen fish in before. But what I did last uh, spring, or last fall was transplant some bass from the upper pond where it was overpopulated down here and I'll tell you the whole side of this pool is ringed with nothing but fry they're everywhere and I, I don't know what's caused it but hopefully uh, we might be able to see a decent fish or two out here now uh, the ones I put in here were only about six inches long so uh, I can't believe they were ready to spawn so maybe they're already more existing fish well let's give it a try anyway again hard. Uh, don't know if we'll pick this up. A complete bust here. I was kind of surprised, but not completely. You just don't know how many decent sized fish might be in here. What I'm throwing at them may not be appealing at all. There are also some frogs in here and we see tadpoles, so they could be completely gorged on those too. So we'll try it some other time. Okay, so here we have uh, an algae fly that we're going to use for milk fish when we go to the Seychelles in October. It looks like grass and it looks like algae. It's uh, nothing but rabbit fur dubbing from a uh, zonker strip that we put in the dubbing loop and wrapped on the hook. So we'll see if these uh, carp might find it intriguing. Well, there's a small school of five pound bass out here. I actually had one take the grass fly or try. The funniest thing was back up the I think they're tired of this one. Back up the pond ways. Uh, I actually had a carp come up and, and put the 
this thing of a bobber in its mouth. I couldn't believe it, but I still haven't found a carp close to shore, so we'll just keep working. the algae fly has been a bust today. Uh, there's three carp right out there. Uh, they're all, they all seem to be deep. I can't find any of them feeding near the shore and that's where I'm going to have to catch one if I'm going to catch one with this thing. So we'll try it again next week and maybe we'll eventually get lucky.